What's up, peace? Welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, man, it looks like, man, 50 Cent is definitely in his feelings. After Snoop Dogg, man, sat down with Nori on the Drink Champs, man, he actually gave out some information indicating that Jay-Z is basically throwing shots at 50 Cent and he don't really rock with him. So if you already know, man, they have had a little bit of turmoil going on in their careers throughout the years. So apparently it's re-escalated. Now this is kind of the first time that 50 Cent really came forward and threw major shots at Jay-Z. Now check this out. Now recently, 50 Cent posted on his Instagram post, he replayed this video. Yeah, let me be clear. So I, I hit the homie, the big homie, Jay-Z, right? And I told him to come pull up on me. Mm. And he pulled up on me. And this is exactly, I swear to God, my nephew, where my nephew at? I, I, he, he, he right here to the left. I said to my nephew, I said, yo, listen, I have to ask him this straight up. So I said, yo, why, who is the people that's on um, in the foul? And, and he said to me, And I'm sorry for anybody who don't understand. And he said, the white guy called for, for 50 cent. Mm. So I said, who's, who's the white guy? I'm, I'm digging this Jimmy Iveen. Mm -hmm. He said, no, Eminem called directly for 50. He said, that's Yo. his guy. He said, I can't do it if I can't break 50 off. But that's his guy. Now, that was beautiful. And guess who's Dre's guy? Your me. guy. He me. Let's break. Now, y'all, right after that, man, he was still in his feelings. Y'all already know, man, 50 Cent is the biggest troll in the world. So he goes on to say, man, Nori, why your dude running around looking like a gay painter? <laughs> now, also, guys, let's kind of go back and visit and check out some of the other times 50 Cent has been throwing shots at Jay-Z but just not on Instagram. This is the first time he's really coming at Jay-Z on Instagram. So y'all check out this audio clip. Y'all, before we get into this video, I wanna make sure y'all go to INeedMyCoins.com, man. It is a dope business opportunity, man. I done made $2,000 on this thing, y'all, in two weeks, going crazy. Super legit. It's not an investment, man. It's a business opportunity. Make sure y'all sign up. There's a bunch of videos on there, y'all. There's tutorials that shows you how to sign up. It shows you how to actually put your first little bit of money in. And it shows you how to make your money as well, man. I signed up over 200 people on YouTube. Everybody is getting to that bag. And also, we have an automated program to where you're making money in your sleep. So make sure y'all hit up INeedMyCoins.com right now and get that bag start with let's start with the recent and then work our way back right beans came out last weekend at our powerhouse right and jay was on stage i'm a witness to the fact that jay called the state troopers and the canine units yeah were outside because and beans came to me and told me he called all of them because he thought we was gonna bring it to him right. because he hasn't represented what it was he was supposed to do for me yeah he that was a sucker move man you know what i mean i look at what, what, what Jay was doing, but well, he feels like he's doing his traditional business. You know, it's just, J Jimmy Iveen doesn't say Rockefeller for life, we family. Right. He says, this is Interscope Records. You know what I mean? Right. So when you're not generating interest or you're not doing what he feels like is the best possible business deal, it's not personal, it's just business. You see what I'm saying? Like and when, when Jay decides to put beans in the space, like they got loyalty, they got the things that we come off the curve with right you can't you flip it you yeah, can't so go from we were you, you can't know. tell them that we family like we we people we i got Old you and, and then when you get to a certain level in your career then you want to separate everybody don't understand that yeah it's just making a corporate transition you see he has the the he's mr no so he got that pass mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying Pretty so it's so. like now you know that this they uh, initially oprah would tell beyonce not to mention him right in your interview right and then it changed to you know what they married things are smoothed out he's a no you rock the Urkel glasses for six months you are the glasses equates to intelligence non-confrontational vibe 
<laughs> it makes you sick. No, it's true. it's true. We laugh, but it's true. You know? Do you believe that that... Do you believe he's down with some sort of secret society? Well, I believe he's in now, like, with the a different crowd. So he can't even write the same music that would impact. He can't write Crime Wave. He got to make an excuse to write the aggressive content that we know him for. Like, so when he does American Gangster, he got to say it's because I saw the film and I was motivated and I wrote it in three days. Mm-hmm. Instead of saying, this is how I'm thinking. Have you ever been approached by the, the secret society that when a rapper, and I'm talking about when musicians, black artists reach a certain level, this secret society still wants to infiltrate and control the minds of our of our youth and so they inc- they incorporate you into the secret society and so secretly you put out messages and you but you don't go against their grain but you yeah. it's like you're dressed like us but you speak for them but you if you see like i haven't been approached by anybody like that i know that there's a point where you they have like different expectations of you mm-hmm. like jay when they do my president is black they go he knows better than that but they don't say nothing about jesus you see what I'm saying? Being on the same song, because they look at him like he doesn't know better than that. Okay. You know, and it, it's it's a point where you, where some artists start to want to be something different. And there's nothing wrong yeah. with I being mean, something different. When you get older, you, you know, you start to be a little more mature. There's certain things start making sense to you, certain things don't. And, and it's obvious he's at a point where he nothing really matters to him outside of his, you know, relationship, his family. And maybe, you know, that works for him. But when he makes comments like nobody's scared of 50 Cent in yeah. regards to Kanye. And that was, you know what that was? It's the non-confrontational vibe we just talked about. Like, he, the guy who's talking to him made him feel like a punk. Mm-hmm. And he had to point out, come on, get it right. Nobody's scared of 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have no issue with me. I didn't say nothing to him. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that point, he's, he's not addressing the guy, treating him like he was afraid of 50 Cent. And that guy's doing that based on him being safe or, you know, like having a more approachable vibe. Like, Lil Mama, there's points where people enjoy music. 2003 to 2005, you couldn't find anybody that, that said that they would generate more interest than 50 Cent in hip hop. And wasn't anyone walking on the stage mm-hmm. because people was getting stabbed at a war show. Right. You know, it was different things that was happening that made them feel like, wait, he might not be in the mood for me right now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I, I'd watch artists look and not be sure that they can come say what's up like they'll say what's up to Tony in the banks and say tell son I said what's up right you know what I'm saying right, they don't right. know like how how I was because they see me addressing other artists and competing and they're afraid we're, it is a little <laughs> they're afraid I have to admit and I told Nelson I said I'd be wanting to call the office and have conversations but he might be taping and I can't like because that's how our now, mind sometimes. You know what's interesting? You have like, to get these cats sometimes. That was that was the one DVD. time I had a camcorder. I guess not set up where I'm actually taping everything. But it, it was I had a camcorder and I taped it because that that reflected how often that was happening. With, with and we're now referring to, to the Young Buck situation, right? Like, when yeah, because oh, wow. he like I taped that conversation because the public wouldn't understand why I was upset with him. They would feel like, oh, 50's just mad again. Because they see me attack so often. Right. They feel like I was just, now he's choosing this, he's attacking his own people. He's going crazy. Right. And you so know? 50 had the audio of Young Buck yeah. actually, you know. Crying on the tape. Crying on the tape. And so we got to see. Yeah, but he do these things. He, he <laughs> says things publicly. And then come back and cry and apologize. Like, And at the time that we we going through that, I'm 250000 into his personal. Like, I, I paid his taxes twice. So, you know, like when, when you got someone who's impulsive and then you add addiction to it, you get a person that's out of control. Right. And you we understand. I mean? And then like with, with and Can't Benz, hold them completely. And Benz in the case, they didn't even give them the money. Like when he was coming out of jail, he did a year and a day. He's in the penitentiary, federal penitentiary in Jersey because my uncle been down 16 years and I, and I used to stop by to see him. This is during the Get Rich or Die Trying when my schedule was so hectic. I was flying back every month. Mm-hmm. to go see him because for that time period that I sat across him he was completely free like I can't get him out of the pens right now but right. I can take him his mind out of it right you see what I'm saying and I talked to him and then mm. from that point that's enough for him to be like man you really ain't got to come see me next month but if you can I, I'd like to to see you you see what I'm saying just because that was enough and and Beans had to be in there and feel like he had to feel me come in the building right. and say 
they ain't come and see me. You know, so like his frustration at some point, it's like when they point out the, the businesses that he had, like the sneaker deal and the different deals. Yeah, he said Beans stuff. was driving two Bentleys and his mom was still living in the sticks. And yeah, like if you when you have when you point these things out, they're not factoring in that he was the best option out of the actual crew. Right. Like Beans was the better artist. The strong art. That's why I was when he did the year in the day. I was like, yo, as soon as he come home, I'd bring that project over here. Mm-hmm. So I was gonna give. He would have got at least. He got at least eight hundred thousand mm-hmm. at that point to come in. You see what I'm saying? Right. To come over. But why didn't the deal happen? Because Jay was telling him that he he didn't want to lose him. It, it's the same. You know what happened? You don't want to lose him, but you don't want to do nothing with him. Him, Jay, and Puffy had these feelings towards me at one point, I believe. They didn't want to lose anything to me at that point while that energy was going on. So and it was meanwhile, like, Bean suffered. He's yeah, the one suffering. Yeah, Puff didn't want to sign the Mace deal. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then and Jay didn't want to do that like because it was like, like to him, like, you know, the perception of it is like I'm losing something to him now. Like, They're very competitive. Right. He even thinks that he's competing. What did he say? The only one, I'm not competing. I don't have to respond to game or somebody because the only ones that are better than me are not or as good as me uh-huh. excuse me are Nas and Eminem so peeps it definitely looks like the beef is heating up man 50 Cent is once again throwing most shots at Jay-Z so y'all let me know man who do y'all think will win in a fight now it was, I think it's kind of obvious but I definitely want to hear y'all opinion and see how y'all feel about it also man make sure y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe on the videos make sure y'all hit up I need my coins.com y'all I'm telling y'all seriously life-changing money you're gonna thank me later and I'll peep y'all on the next one holla